welcome and thank you for joining our virtual contact center visit hosted by CCAM, Contact Center Association of Malaysia, in collaboration with CCAJ, Call Center Association of Japan. Thank you to JTB Malaysia and JTB Japan for making this possible. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Adi and I'll be your MC for today. It is a great pleasure with, to welcome everyone to this virtual contact center knowledge enhancement tour. Minasan konnichiwa, CCAM, CCAJ, contact center no virtual home wa gosanka sasete itadaki. Makoto ni arigatou gozaimasu. Watakushi wa honjitsu no MC no... コメント日本語でお聞きになりたい方は日本語を教えていただけますとこちらの案内もあの聞くことができますのでまずご選択いただければと思いますお願いいたしますはい皆さんこんにちは since we are doing this virtually for the first time, let's align ourselves in some areas. Our session is scheduled to last for 90 minutes. Please be informed that the whole session will be recorded. For panelists, appreciate if you can be on mute to avoid disturbance. There is an interpretation, interpretation section. You can find the icon right below uh, the Zoom meeting screen together with your chat icon and raised hand icon. As participants and panelists, you are able to choose the language you would like to listen, English or Japanese. Please select either one of the options. We recommend you to use the Q&A option when you have any clarification or questions with regards to the presentation. If you would like to speak and get more clarity, please raise your hand and click by clicking the raise hand button icon and our admin will unmute and call your name. Once your question has been answered, please click on the lower hand icon again to remove the raise hand notification. There will be three organizations that we will be presenting today. We have allocated time for Q&A session after each presentation. There will be also a panel discussion and Q&A with the management representative and another with the frontline team towards the end of the presentation. Last but not least, we hope that you enjoy the session. All right, without further ado, let's begin our session today by watching a video presentation about Kuala Lumpur. I would like to invite CCM representative to play the video. Hope you enjoy the short video presentation. お出かけする前に注意しなきゃいけないことは 1。マスクの着用と 2。マイクで空のアプリをインストールすることです。マレージア現在のワクチン接種状況を皆さんにシェアしたいと思います。12歳から17歳のワクチン接種に通を打った人は 88.8%になりました。大人の方は98%になりました。ブースターを打った人たちも現在で55.2%になりました。
All right. Thank you, JTB Malaysia and CCM for the short video. Moving on to our next agenda, I would like to invite our Honorable CCAM President, Mr. Raymond Devadas, for an opening speech. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Raymond. Thank you, <clears throat> thank you and uh, thank you, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Thank yes, we can. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm trying to share my screen. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm able to do that. Uh, I'm having some difficulty with sharing the screen. Uh, you have been given access, uh, Raymond. Let's just check a bit. Yeah, it's okay. I, I think I will maybe just uh, skip the slides and just go very quickly. Uh, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here this afternoon. My name is Raymond, uh, and I'm the president of uh, Contact Center Association of Malaysia, Konnichiwa. Uh, just a little brief background about Contact Center Association of Malaysia. And, and even before I do that, I just want to take this uh, opportunity to thank uh, CCAJ for organizing this event. I think it's a very noble event that we've, uh, that we've embarked on today. And truly, uh, CCM is honored to have all of you here uh, today to be able to share and not just to share, but also to learn from each other. And I think this is a good platform and, and really a good opportunity for us to get to know each other uh, more. Uh, and just a brief background about Contact Center Association of Malaysia. We started in 1999. Uh, almost 25 years ago, and really that was the time, uh, you know, when we were talking about the Y2K and the dawn of a new millennium, uh, and uh, we were formed then, and when Malaysia was also uh, actively starting on creating a new tech park in Malaysia, uh, and that was a time when Contact Center Association of Malaysia was formed, uh, when the global BPO business was booming, uh, and also the tech sector uh, was also booming. And that's where, you know, the Contact Center Association also really started. And our aim uh, really uh, in Contact Center Malaysia, our role is to help the growth of the Malaysian Contact Center, uh, to grow it as a hub. Uh, and, and really uh, what we do on a daily basis is to look at how we can grow talent, how can we grow our corporate value, uh, and most importantly also how can we grow our industry competitiveness. Uh, so just a brief background and to give you a landscape of the Malaysian BPO industry, and then I'll talk a little bit about the contact center industry. The Malaysian BPO industry today has uh, close to about 300,000 people employed uh, in this sector. Uh, we contribute a revenue of close to US 8 billion per annum. Uh, and uh, we are consistently ranked number two or number three by, by consultants such as uh, AT Kearney to be a very uh, competitive global hub when it comes to uh, providing global business services and uh, business process outsourcing services out of this country. Uh, and if you zoom down a little bit more uh, with the contact center industry today, uh, Malaysia has become a contact center hub for the world. We have close to 250 companies employing close to about 55 to 60,000 people. Uh, and we generate a revenue of close to US 2.5 billion per annum. We have become a hub with a very small population of about 32 million people today. We have become a multilingual hub for the world. Uh, today, uh, if we put our membership together, we have close to 100 companies who are members of the Contact Center Association of Malaysia. Uh, including uh, local companies, Japanese companies, and uh, companies from around the world. Uh, you know, we support 47 different languages and dialects just simply alone in Malaysia, uh, supporting the banking and financial services sector, uh, supporting the telco and uh, sector, supporting the e-commerce sector. And today, as you also visit some of our uh, very strong members, uh, namely uh, uh, TDCX, uh, Web Health, uh, uh, yeah, TDCX, Web Health, uh, and I miss out one name now. Uh, uh, I'll remember that. IGT, IGT. And IGT, yes, uh, IGT Solutions. Uh, you know, uh, I hope that you will be able to see some of the good work that we do uh, and some of the good works that we, the whole industry is uh, contributing towards the economy. Uh, the industry today is going through a, a, a shift, a change. 
uh, where, you know, for in 1999, where we were typically a traditional call center, as, as you would say, uh, we had gone through an evolution over the last 25 years uh, to from from this running a, a, a voice based business today to running a voice and non voice work uh, and most importantly uh, moving away from omni channel services today the industry is is disrupted by the advent of artificial intelligence chatbots uh, and various other new disruptive technologies that is in entering into the market and especially into our contact center space. And uh, Malaysia is very strong in that area. And I hope that our members today, uh, the three companies, IGT Web Health and TDCX, uh, will showcase to you some of the things that we are doing, some of the technologies that we are adopting uh, in, in our space, in our industry, uh, very actively uh, to become a global hub, not just uh, having strength in, in, in being able to provide multilingual services, but also the technology that we deploy in our services. Uh, and you know, and just to uh, wrap up uh, along those lines with this growth that we see in, in 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 technology today, a lot of the work that Contact Center Association of Malaysia does is trying to elevate the people, trying to elevate the talent pool, uh, to upskill to uh, and to reskill themselves uh, to be able to adopt and to embrace uh, some of these new technologies in our contact center environment, and uh, and we have seen. Uh, uh, you know, tremendous improvement and, and growth, especially in the last two years during the pandemic. The government today, government of Malaysia today, acknowledges Malaysia as one of the biggest hires in the last 24 months. So despite seeing a lot of companies having to sadly retrench people or to let go of people uh, during the last two years in the pandemic, uh, the contact center industry, as, as, as the world shifted from offline to online, the, the contact center industry continues to boom. Uh, we have grown in, 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 uh, in, in, in large amounts of, uh, in terms of people as well. Uh, again, you will, I hope that you'll be able to listen from our members directly this afternoon to see their growth over the last two years. And we continue to grow. We continue to grow in this industry and we continue to uh, strengthen ourselves in this industry. So with that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Uh, once again, I welcome you to this uh, knowledge enhancement session. I uh, trust that you will have an afternoon uh, of, of being able to learn uh, as much as we learn from you. I hope that also you are able to learn from some of the things that we are doing here. Thank you very much. And once again, welcome to this uh, session this afternoon. Over to you, Adi. Thank you, Mr. Raymond, for your lovely opening speech. <clears throat> right, next on, our, next on our agenda, I would like to call upon the president of CCAJ, Call Center Association of Japan, Mr. Hidenori Hasebe, to give a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mr. Hidenori Hasebe. Hi, Mirasan, Konnichiwa. Nihon Call Center Kyokai no Kaicho Shitorimasu Hasebe Hidenori desu. Ano, Honjit no desu ne, Dai 32 Kai CCAJ Study Tsua. え、日本ではこのように あの、マレーシアの皆様には、え、ご協力いただきまして、え、大変ありがとうございます。え、本日はよろしくお願いします。え、またですね、え、この、え、ツアーを企画いただきました株式会社JTBさま、え、それと え、1987年に業界の健全な発展を図ることを目的に設立され、え、1997年に現在の日本コールセンター協会、え、略称はCCAJですけれども、え、そのような名前を書いております。え、現在はですね、え、229社の国内企業が加盟し、え、3つの種
、えー、1つ目は、えー、自社製品、サービスの販売のために、えー、自らコールセンターを保有し、運営する、えー、インハウスを言ってますけれども、えー、インハウスというのは1つ目のカテゴリー,、えー。2つ目はですね、えー、コールセンターの運営の代行、えー、委託を受ける、アーソーサー、えー、をするわけですけれども、えー、これをコールセンターエージェンシー。をいうふうにしてます、えー、最後3つ目はですね、えー、コールセンターに、えー、IT システムの提供や、えー、人材を派遣する、えー、サポートというカテゴリー、えー、この3つのお、まあ、会員企業で、えー、構成されております、えー、日本における国内のですね、あのー、業界、えー、市場規模ですけども、えー、昨年10月、えー、日本国内のですね、えー、業界市日本流通産業新聞が報告しておりますが、主要エージェンシー、37社の売上高の合計が、日本円ではです、ね、1兆2546億円、これ、アメリカ、US ドルで言いますと、11ビリオンダラー程度になりますけれども、そのぐらいのサイズです。で前年比で 6% 成長し、市場のです、ね、成長は、このえー、調査を始めて以来、27年間連続で拡大を続けているというふうに公表されています。えー、CCAJ、当協会は、えー、コールセンター業界の、まあ、健全な発展を実現するために、えー、3つの基軸を定めています。1つ目が、えー、社会貢献、えー、2つ目は、えー、総合研鑽、えー、そして3つ目は交流です。えー、こうした基軸を得て会員各社の有志、会員各社からですね有志の方にご協力いただきまして、広報、事業、情報調査、人材育成、総務の各委員会で事業を推進、展開しております。現在の日本の状況ですけれども、やはりオミクロン株による感染か感染がですねピークともいえるレベルに達しています。えー、CCAJ 東京会では、えー、新型コロナの第一波を迎えた一昨年の5月に、えー、コールセンターにおける新型コロナ感染対策に関する指針、えー、少し名前、名前名称ですけれども、えー、内閣府やら経産省などの確認もした上で、えー、設,営したあの設定したです、ね、ガイドラインがありますが、えー、策定しております。で昨年10月はですねデルタ株に対応した内容に改定し、同時にですね感染症対策のチェックリストも用意しております。改めまして、国内ツアーに参加されている皆様におかれましてはです、ね、こうした指針の遵守とチェックリストの活用をお願いする次第です。また、最近各社のですね事業継続、BCP や働き方改革などの要請もあって、あの全現在ですね、在宅コールセンターが日本国内でも拡大しています。えー、会員の各社、皆様で構成するですね、在宅コールセンターに関する勉強会というのを、えー、実施しております、えー。最後になりますけれども、えー、本日は本視察を通じてですね、えー、皆様との継続的な交流を図ら,らせていただきまして、えー、日本、えー、マレーシア、お互いの業界が健全に発展することを記念して、挨拶に変えさせていただきます。以上です。Thank you, Mr. Hidenori, for the opening speech. In the interest of time, let's proceed to the next agenda we have for today. We will have TDCX as the first organization that will be presenting and doing the virtual tour with us. I would like to invite Mr. Byron Fernandez as the group CIO and country director for TD TDCX. So I'm handing over the floor to Mr. Byron for his presentation. Thank you very much, Adi, for the warm introduction. Thank you very much as well to CCAM for organizing today's event. I would like to start by saying konnichiwa to all our friends from Japan. I'm very glad to have all of you here today. 
and I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to speak to you and present to you a little bit about TDCX and about our work from home strategy, our diversity inclusion, and some of the other CSR activities that we are working on today. I would like you to know that you could please ask me questions at the end of the session. If there's anything unclear, I will be happy to answer for you. To begin with, I would like to start by sharing my screen. Give me one moment, please. I trust you are all able to see my screen now? Yes. Excellent. Thank you very much. This is what I have prepared for you, starting first of all with a brief overview of TDCX. We are a 26-year-old company. We have almost 15,000 people worldwide. We have 73 nationalities, 26 campuses across 21 cities. I would like to say that one of my favorite offices at TDCX is our office in Yokohama. We have a very nice, very large office in Yokohama. We also have an office in Tokyo. And I'd like to say that our presence in Japan is one of the most important locations for TDCX. Having said that, we also are a winner of many, many industry awards, having won over 310 industry awards many of these from Malaysia, from our operations in Malaysia, and from the CCAM Association for Operational Excellence. This slide, I will give you a brief overview of some of our solutions, languages we serve, and some of the client types that we have. Our clients are from many different industries. In Malaysia alone, we have over 20 clients. High-end hospitality, gourmet food and business uh, and beverages, luxury retail, airlines, internet leaders, social media companies, technology companies, consumer electronic companies, very, very broad uh, number of industries that we serve. You will see here on the languages side that we also serve in many different languages here in Malaysia. All of the languages you see here are served by native speakers. What this means is that when we serve the Japanese community in Japanese language, it is with expatriates who have chosen to come and live and work in Malaysia while we serve the Japanese domestic market. On the left side of this slide, you will see that we have many, many different solutions from customer service to content moderation, to compliance and quality, sales and marketing, uh, you name it, we can do it uh, if it's a customer experience function. From a channels perspective, we do all channels from voice all the way down to social media. So we cover a very, very wide amount of channels. This slide is not for me to talk so much, but for you to see what TDCX workspaces look like. We build beautiful offices to ensure that people who come to work at TDCX work in a comfortable, branded, and beautiful location. I'll call your attention to the Japan office there, which you can see uh, is a very beautiful office and in fact is our newest office yet. We just moved to a brand new building in Yokohama and have just finished building this office. In this slide, I'll talk to you a little bit about our CSR activities. We have three pillars at TDCX. We want our employees to be happier. We want our employees to be kinder and also to be greener. These are the main three areas that we look after. From being happier, you can imagine us looking into things like human rights, empowering people, diversity and inclusion, gender equality, L&D, learning and development, of course, wellness and safety as well. These are the important items or ingredients to allow people working at TDCX to be happier. As for being kinder, here is where we look at supporting frontliners, disaster relief programs, responsible sourcing, making sure we do all the right things as we function in society. TDCX is a large employer and a fairly large company. Because of that, the decisions we make 
have a big impact on society. And therefore, we want to make sure that we take care of society uh, as we go through these decisions. Finally, on the V greener side, we are carbon neutral. Uh, we are participating actively in water conservation, recycling. We have banned single-use plastics in all our offices. We don't do this anymore. We're very, very focused on preserving the environment because we need the environment for us to live happily and be comfortable in for all of our people. From an exper employee experience point of view, we have a very diverse and inclusive culture. In the past, Malaysia, just being very honest, has been a society that is not very accepting of different genders. In terms of equal opportunities, it has been a bit of an upward struggle for us to be able to allow for true equal opportunities regardless of gender, race, creed, and color. And while we are a multinational uh, multi, uh, society, I think it's very important for us to stay very focused on these areas. We have diversity and inclusion, including respectful workforce training. We know that our friends from Japan have a different culture from us. And one of the things we are taught and that we learn in the, in the workplace is to respect cultures of all countries and of all peoples. We spend a lot of time celebrating we're having festivals that we celebrate across many, many different countries to ensure that everyone feels included in the workplace. On the bottom left-hand side of this slide, you will see the ratio of men to women in the workforce. Across the company, women make up 54% of TDCX population and men make up 46%. As you go upwards to middle management and senior leaders, you can see that we still manage to preserve the number of women in the workforce. From a senior leader's perspective, we are actively working to work harder to bring in more senior leaders who are female and make that ratio even better for the future. Here you'll see a little bit about the agenda that we have for 2022. Our TDCX has memberships in the Philippines Financial Inter-Industry Pride Organization, we have women's networks in the workplace. We have solo parents, uh, Pride, PWD, et cetera. These are all to allow us to support all of the different types of employees at TDCX. We run a diversity survey called Being Her to see what our employees think about our diversity efforts. We are very, very focused on global employee engagement counterparts. Uh, we have one major DNI focus activity every quarter, every three months once. And we have podcast where we have episodes on diversity, equity, as well as inclusion. So you can see that we not only talk about it, we make sure that we action this in the workplace. Next, I'll talk to you a little bit about work from home. Malaysia suddenly had to go 100% into work from home when COVID first hit us. TDCX has become very, very deliberate. We design our work from home strategy very, very carefully. People who work at home at TDCX must have an internet package that's at least 30 megabits per second. That must be steady 10 megabits per second upstream and downstream. We have tools that we have developed in-house which can monitor the bandwidth of the uh, employees who are working from home. If we see problems, we can reach out to employees and ask them to manage their bandwidth. Our IT team also provides consultancy and support to help our employees who are working from home configure their networks at home to be secure, as well as to be fast enough for work from home environments. In terms of office room, low noise, definitely. No pets, no family member interruptions, nobody walking behind you who can see what is on your screen. And we make sure that there are proper desks and chairs for working at home. How do we validate this? How do we know this? We go through video screening. We screen the workspaces through video call with all our employees prior to them actually starting to work from home. Right now, about 45% of, of our employees follow a hybrid work arrangements where we can actually have them come to office sometimes stay at home at other times. There is a reason to come for office. And the reason for that is because working from home for a very long time will cause isolation. 
you don't see anybody else. This can be very tiring, can be very depressing for employees, which is why we keep our offices open, but we minimize the number of people going to the office and we make sure social distancing, the SOPs are practiced to make sure people do not contract COVID. Finally, let me talk to you a little bit about performance management while we work from home. To make sure that our teams are effective when we work from home, we need to have a healthy support ratio of people. We need to go through profile analysis, background checks. Many of our employees answered the DAS21 survey to see how stressed they are at the time that they join us, to understand what are some of the things that they are worried about. This is some of the groundwork, the things you must do early on to make sure that you know your employees when you hire them and you assess, are they suitable to work from home or not? From an operations management point of view, we have chat rooms, high communication, daily operational things that happen through various different media. We use everything, Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, Zoom, you name it, we use all of it. We have an end-to-end -end performance analysis we do quartile management and shrinkage adherence to make sure our operations continue to perform very well even when they're working from home. From a quality perspective, one-to-one -one coaching still happens. It happens virtually using Microsoft Teams. We have our own coaching system, which we developed in-house to allow this as well. We have virtual side-by-side -side training, focus group discussions. We validate what our employees are doing. We run refresher trainings. And our knowledge bases, which have always been there in the office, are now deployed to work from home as well. Finally, from a development perspective, scorecards, reward and recognition, engagement activities, it transformed to office into a virtual environment at home. Engagement activities still happen. We still have Friday night get togethers every week. Uh, and these are run by the engagement teams. We have a learning platform, several learning platforms. There's a TDCX university and career development programs as well to make sure we stay connected to keep our people developed. That's all my presentation for all of you today. I hope that was very clear. Thank you very much again for the opportunity to be here, both to CCAM and to Contact Center Association of Japan. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Byron, for sharing with us today. TDCX has prepared a short video for us today. So I would like to invite CCM to play the video. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, thank you for the video. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, I am opening up the floor for a short Q&A session in regards to TDCX presentation. So I would like to invite Mr. Byron and Mr. Pamesh, representative from TDCX. To kick start, I will just read out uh, some questions that we have received. Uh, uh, there's one question in uh, the Q&A section. Regarding the native speaker coming to Malaysia, the salary level might be different between Japan and Malaysia. Do you face any difficulty in bringing native speaker from their native country to Malaysia? Thank you very much for the question. First of all, that is two questions uh, and I will answer both. The first question is, are the salary levels different from a Malaysian and a, a Japanese person? Yes, they are. 
And it's true that salaries are paid depending on the countries that we bring people in from. This is because we must remain respectful of their expenditures that they have in their own home countries. So that is true, just to clarify that one point. Do we face difficulties in finding people to come and live and work in Malaysia? Yes, we do. We definitely do. However, Malaysia is a very, very attractive country to live and work in. We have a very strong Japanese community and our Japanese people have been in Malaysia for a very, very long time. Yes, we spend time to educate people on the quality of life. The cost of living in Kuala Lumpur is much, much lower than in Tokyo, for example, or than in many other Asian cities. And therefore, people who relocate to Kuala Lumpur may not earn a huge amount of money, but they enjoy a differentiated and a much higher quality of lifestyle because of our lower cost of living. This is the value proposition of Kuala Lumpur as a destination for many, many uh, Asian language speakers coming from all around Asia to live and work in Kuala Lumpur. I hope that answers your question. Thank you, Byron. Uh, let's take another one more uh, question, which is in Japanese. はい、ありがとうございます。それではご質問はトランスコスモスの方からいただいておりますので、トランスコスモス社さん、まあ、パネリストの方、日本語で読み上げていただくことできますでしょうか。トランスコスモスの松原様から質問いただいておりますので、大
web help that will be presenting and uh, <clears throat> and giving us a virtual tour. So let's welcome Ms. Sunita Soiza and Mr. Matsuhiro Takeda from Web Help to take the stage. Hi, ご紹介いただきましてありがとうございます。Web Help Japan 株式会社代表の竹田と申します。本日はあの Web Help のご説明をさせていただくお時間いただきましてありがとうございます。それではあの画面の共有をちょっとさせていただきます。ご覧いただけますでしょうか。Yes。はい。えっ、ー、とそれでは Web Help の、えー、ご説明、それから、uh, Work from Home につきまして、Web、えー、Help からはですね、えー、在日在所の私、それから Work from Home はウェブヘルプアジア太平洋本部のチーフオペレーティングオフィシャーでございます、スニタ・ソイザーからご説明申し上げます。Hello, こんにちは。はい。えー、それでは2ページ、こちらの方からご説明申し上げます。えーまあ、ビジネスをより人間らしくするというビジョン。これが私とも独自のカルチャーであり、原動力でございます。まあ、なぜなら、まあ、私どもは、まあ、人というものに集中しますと、突然すべてが生き生きとしてくると信じているからです。私どもは人を第一とする会社であり、私どもは情熱的な改革者であり、私どもは愛を持ってお客様と接して、私どもはお客様と共に楽しんで業務に当たれるよう努力しております。私どもはあのお客様のニーズに合わせたサービスをどこでもいつでも世界中で提供してまいります。私どもの社員は世界中で10万人を超えました。140の国籍から構成されています世界中でのワークフロムホームの環境は言うまでもないんですけれども200の専用サイトを持って世界55カ国にて90の市場を80言語で対応しておりますあまさにグローバル BPO 企業だと思っていますコストパフォーマンスリスクのバランスを取りながらデリバリー拠点全体でお客様のオペレーションモデルを最適化する Web Help Anywhere という手法で支えられております。えー、今、私がちょっと説明申し上げたところ、こちらのページのところを含まれておりました。えーまあ、あの私ども強調したいところは、この10万人を超えたというところでございます。では次のページに参ります。はい。あのー、まあ、顧客体験とか、あカスタマーエクスペリエンスの、おまあ、そういったあ道にすべて必要な、すべてのサービスの提供を私どもいたしております。あの、我々のサービスポートフォリオは、まあ、主には、まあ、この4種で構成されています。えー、ちょっと詳細はあの今回割愛させていただきますけれど、まず左の上ですね。あのまず第一は BPO。まあ、これは法人営業からテクニカルサポート、ヘルプデスク、えー、リセール、まあ、薬品営業とか医療サポートサービスまで、まあ、幅広くサポートいたします。えー、第2は左側の下でございます。えー、第2はスペシャリストのアウトソーシングです。あの金融サービス業界等におけるです、ね、例えばペイメントコレクション、予診管理、ホーム、個人情報管理、えー、本人確認サービス、我々 KYC と呼んでますけども、ウェブのコンテンツモデレーション、えー、コンテンツマネジメントサービス
デジタル調査と、まあ、それぞれ企業様の特性や特徴に合った深い専門領域のスペシャリストのアウトソーシングサービスを展開しております。第3に、左の上になりますけれども、まあ、一般的なカスタマーサポートはもちろん、まあ、クレーム管理、管理、ロイヤリティサービス、それからまあ高度なテクリカルサポートにかけております。最後、えー、右の下になりますけれども、まあ、最後にまあカスタマーエクスペリエンスソリューションでございます。お客様のオペレーションとエクスペリエンスの最適化と今後の改革を支援するサービスとしてお客様の洞察やその分析のサービスオペレーションや人材支援サービス AI などを含めたデジタル技術による自,自動化サービス、まあ、今や各企業には強く求められるようになった DX 戦略などを強く支援いたしておりますはい、えーはいえー、次のページが WebHelp アジアパシフィックリージョンのご説明でございます、えー、アジア太平洋地域では、えー、ご覧の14カ国、まあ、オーストラリア、中国、香港、インド、インドネシア、ジャパン、日本ですね、それからマレーシア、ニュージーランド、フィリピン。シンガポール、えー、韓国、台湾、タイランド、ベトナム、えー、こちらがあ私どもはあの特に、えー、運営拠点になります。えー、特にあの地図で示された日本を含めました7カ国ですね、えーまあ、中国、タイランド、マレーシアと書いてございますが、えー、こちらは主要サイトになります。特にアジアのマルチリンガルハブがマレーシアのクアラルンプールでございまして、私どものアジア太平洋、中国、日本地域本部になっております。はい、えー、私のパートのちょっと最後になりますが、えーまあ、私どもはあフロスト・サリバン。2021年ベストプラクティス賞を受賞させていただきました。それからマレーシアコンタクトセンター協会、えー、CCAM 様の2021年度インダストリーエクセレンスアワードも合わせ受賞させていただきました。ベストコンタクトセンターヘッドとして、私どものスニタ・ソイザ、チーフオペレーティングオフィサーのスニタ・ソイザが受賞をさせていただきました。これにて、えー、私ども、私からの説明を終わりまして、今ご紹介いたしました、弊社のチーフオペレーティングオフィサーであるスニタ・ソイザより、私どものワークフロムホームの詳細についてご説明申し上げます。えー、お時間ありがとうございました。スニタ、はい、I'm passing the button to you. Thank you very much, Takeda san. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you so much.、Uh, good afternoon to all the participants and a very warm welcome to everyone.、Um, I will cover the next two slides, which、um, explains our work from home model in、uh, web help. Working from home, simply put, means before pandemic, the workforce was 100% working from office. During the pandemic, 60% continued to work from office and 40% from home based on program criticality. Today, the dynamics have changed significantly to 10% in office and 90% from home. In Web Help, Our work from home platform, Web Help Anywhere, which allows flexibility and scalability, was the model of transition, which consists of six focus areas. Allow me to take you through these areas. The first pillar is Talent Anywhere. In any contact center,、um, all of our advisors are the most precious、uh, 
people you know in our organization it is inclusive by nature meaning we can even accommodate employees with special needs we source and develop the right people wherever they are and however they want to work for example flexible shifts and split shifts insight driven borderless recruitment allows us to easily hire natives to work in their country of origin to support any market when travel was not permitted digitally enabled learning using live virtual trainers and animated videos which ensured training quality was maintained whether at home or in the office the second pillar is engagement anywhere from brand new to brand ambassadors we ensure all our people are supported in their roles and are engaged with our customers omni channel web helper engagement and recognition programs drive motivation and retention analytics driven well-being programs to keep track of our workforce mental health during the pandemic was a key component gamification drives fun activities engagement and positive outcomes the third pillar is technology anywhere hybrid infrastructure coupled with innovation that scales in minutes not months flexible desktop virtualization hardware logistics and optional bring your own device allows work from anywhere global collaboration tools for example quick connect teams hangout i'm sure most of you all are familiar with this drives community meaning we are able to provide virtual support to our advisors real time the fourth pillar is security anywhere cyber doesn't sit still and neither do we our robust security as a service program spans across our people our processes and technology our ecosystem includes biometric and mfa we are also iso 27001 certified and pci compliant we also ensure threat and protection via 24 by 7 cyber resilience center the fifth pillar is performance anywhere our resilience by design means we think about our business with continuity in mind we have even won awards for it as stated earlier by takera san dynamic and responsive operations hybrid cloud that operates disaster recovery and global incident response standards are some of our strengths in ensuring our resilience takera san can we move to the next slide Let me share a quick case study on the work from home model that was deployed for a multinational electronics company headquartered in South Korea during the pandemic and beyond. 248 people provided commercial and technical support from France, Romania and the Ivory Coast. Services included promotions, customer care, community management, technical assistance to B to C claims and social media home working solution started as early as november 2019 as a pilot program with 30 people it has been strengthened during the covid crisis with a setup of new batches and low performance being handled on site and the others being delivered from home operationally client our client was very pleased with the effectiveness of our move to home working our people are more engaged our attrition rate dropped by 4.9 points we adapted our operating model to the new model challenges clarifying responsibilities leveraging technology capabilities and overhead autonomy positive feedbacks received through my client with nps going from 7 to 9 points over the last year post covid crisis teams have continued to handle operations in a hybrid model with low performance delivering from site and all others from home 
some of the learnings and challenges during this COVID period. I think Brian has also, Byron has also mentioned this in his presentation, moving teams and management communications to digital, introducing new technology. WebHelp was not far from this. We had our own uh, tool, WebHelp Anywhere toolbox, which was implemented, which consists of the email trees, Centrical system, MyLift, MyQA. These are all names of tools that we implemented within WebHelp to support the operations team during this uh, COVID period. Adapting coaching and continuous training methods and materials to the virtual environment. Adapting performance management process to virtual with eye-to-eye -eye contact was not as effective as it would have been on site. So these are some of the challenges and the learnings and actions we put in place to try and achieve the performance. If you refer to the bottom right box, you will be able to see the performance in operations pre-COVID in 2019 versus 2021, which currently we are moving to. Uh, from a service level performance perspective, we have, our service level was constant at 96%. Our average handle times saw a reduction by 25 seconds. Our attrition dropped by 4.9 points. Absenteeism dropped by seven points. Our customer experience increased by 20%. And overall, agent productivity in terms of KPIs improved by 20 points. So all in all, the Web Help Anywhere uh, program that has been put in place has been very successful for Web Help. Agidasa, next slide, please. So WebHelp, we are your global partner that designs, delivers, and optimizes unforgettable human experience for today's digital world. Thank you for taking the time to allow us this moment to share our experience with you. Over to you, Adi. Thank you, Ms. Sunita and uh, Mr. Mitsuhiro for the presentation from WebHub. WebHub also prepared a video for us today. I would like to invite CCAM to play a video from WebHub.
Okay, thank, thank you for the uh, web help for the video. So can you hear me? Yes, okay. we can hear you. Uh, all right. So uh, before we move on to the Q&A session, I would just like to make a short announcement uh, in regards to the interpretation option uh, in, in Zoom, right? So I would like uh, and appreciate everyone to select at least one, uh, either English or Japanese in the interpretation, including the panelists, so that we will uh, only hear one side of uh, uh, the, the language, right? So if you are uh, speaking in Japanese, you can choose uh, Japanese so that uh, for the English speaker can hear the, the translation in English, right? Okay, <clears throat> moving on to the uh, Q&A session. Uh, I would like to invite uh, someone to read out the question はい、from Kimi. それでは、はい、え質問をいただいておりますが、まず私から一つあの日本の皆様にご案内をさせていただきます。質問に関しましては、パネリスト登録をされていらっしゃる皆様は、Q&A 機能ではなく、えこの質疑応答の時間に直接挙手をしていただいて、マイクカメラをオンにしていただいて、口頭で質問をお願いいたします。一般の視聴者、パネリスト登録をされてない方に関しましては、QA 機能、Q&A 機能が使えますので、そちらを使って投稿をしていただきまして、企業の代表者様、パネリストの皆様に代読をいただきます。では、えっと、まず、えー、チャットでいただいております、佐野様、マイク、カメラをオンにしていただきまして、えー、ご質問、読んでいただいてもよろしいでしょうか。はい、えー、C プロデュース、佐野と申します。とえー、質問を、えー、挙げさせていただいた件なんですけれども 40% 在宅コールセンターの導入後そのサービスを受けているクライアントへの費用、えー、料金単価は上がりましたかまた下がったのでしょうかまたその費用変動はどのような理由から起こったのかあのご質問させていただきたいです。Um, I will take that, that question. So, when,、uh, when we moved、um, you know, from working in the office to working from home, there w a s a lot of、uh, technology, technology upgrades that needed to be done, especially from a security perspective. So, whatever savings that we had from an operating expenses, that was used to enhance all of the technology that was needed. So, to answer your question in a nutshell, no, we did not、uh, reduce the price. In fact, we kept the price consistent with the clients. Have I answered your question? Yep. Hi, thank you for your question. Hi, thank you for your question. えー、HT25 秒削減とのことなんですが、もともと何分何秒から25秒減ったのか、またその内訳は ATP と ACW でそれぞれどのように減ったのかという点を教えていただきたいです。Okay, maybe、uh, this is quite technical, I must say,、uh, because the type of services that we provided this client was quite、uh, vast. Yeah, so we took an average, and from that average, we actually brought it down by、uh, 25 seconds, as was mentioned in the case study. But I think if you need more details, we can take it offline、uh, through CCAJ at a later time. Okay. Great. はい、ありがとうございます。時間もあの過ぎてはよるんですけれども、えっと、パネリストの方でもう一名、えー、BBiz の山田様からご,ご主張されているかと思いますので、あのご質問をお願いいたします。すみません、Q&A であの質問を寄せいただいた方に関しましては、後ほど時間があればあの拾わせていただきます。はい、よろしいでしょうか。あ、聞こえてますでしょうか
。はい、お願いいたします。はい。ウェブヘルプ社の皆さん、えー、ご説明ありがとうございました。えっ、ー、と、私からはちょっと二つごせ、えっ、ー、と、質問させていただきたくて、えっ、ー、と、コロナ禍における採用活動についての質問で、えっ、ー、と、採用もおそらくオンラインでやっているのかなと思うんですけれども、まあ、その際にこう PC リテラシーとか、いわゆるその適正テストみたいなものは、どういうふうにこう工夫されてチェックしてたのかっていうことと、あともう一点は、あの 90% 在宅にシフトしていったときに、各品質への影響、まあ、先ほどちょっとその AST の,あの話もありましたけれども、影響どういうふうになっていって、それに対してどう対策したかっていうのをあのざっくりお聞かせいただきたいです。質問以上です。Okay, I will try and answer that in the shortest time possible because I think it's quite a long discussion. So, I think the first question was、um, how did we do the assessments and、uh, where recruitment is concerned? Is that right? Hi, so this is Hi, a t e m a s u Okay. Okay, so all, all of the recruitment activities w a s very quickly、uh, transferred into a virtual mode. Yeah, so in the past, where you would come into the office to do all these assessments, we had deployed a tool, a web help tool called Equity. And from this Equity system,、uh, when someone applies for a specific role, The assessments are already set up in the system based on the roles, and the assessments will be sent out to the candidates. So, candidates would have to complete these assessments as a first level of screening process and return those back to us. So, once the screening process has been completed and you have passed that screening process, then we arrange for a virtual、uh, interview. Now, during that virtual interview,、um, There are two levels of that interview. One will be conducted by HR or the recruitment team, and the second one is conducted by the operations team. So that is when we ensure that you know,、uh, we have a face to face interaction, meaning the video has to be switched on. Yeah. And we go through、uh, another set of questions, which we need to see the candidate,、uh, candidate's ability to be able to answer those questions, both from a、um, Soft skills perspective as well as、um, from an operational perspective. So that's the first question. Can you just repeat the second question, please? Hi, Simon. Hey, the first question is, 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 90% 在宅になったという、そういうふうにこうシフトしていった中で、品質への影響がどういうふうに出たかっていうことと、あとはそこの影響に対してどう対策したかっていうのをあのざっくりで結構ですので、教えてください。OK, sure.、Um, I think this would have been something, you know, everybody who's、uh, participating in this today, all my、uh, fellow colleagues would also attest to this. I think when the pandemic first struck, Um, the productivity of our advisors was the, you know, of utmost concern for us. Would we be able to deliver to all those contractual obligations that we have?、Um, it, it did take us some time, you know, to get everyone adjusted to the new way of working. Technology, of course, was key in it, yeah,、uh, in, in being able to ensure that we were able to communicate with them on time, real time.、Uh, we were able to get them trained. Um, you know, in a virtual manner to keep them engaged, especially when we were doing training, you know, and, and just the overall well being of the advisors when they're working from home. All of that definitely was a challenge. Yeah. And when we first went into、uh, the mode of the pandemic, being a contact center industry in Malaysia, we were still allowed a percentage of our workforce to work from the office. So, so that is why you saw that 60 40 split. Now, having said that, two years in the going into, into this whole COVID situation, everyone has adjusted. We have slowly evolved. And now, based on the surveys that we have conducted, employees have given us feedback that they prefer to work you know, two weeks maybe in the office and two weeks at home. And predominantly, the,、uh, the preference is to do more home than office. So that's how that split has gone now to 90% at home and 10% in the office. The ones that we bring back to office are typically 
probably new people, uh, people who have maybe got infrastructure challenges or people who may have performance challenges. Thank you. Any further questions? Okay, so in the interest of okay, so in the interest of time, thank you, Miss uh, Sunita and Mr. Mitsuhiro from Web Help. Uh, we will we will adjourn to our next uh, on our agenda our agenda the third organization from IGT Solutions. I would like to invite Mr. K Uda from IGT to walk us through the presentation. えっと、私、IGTの小田と申します。え、本日はよろしくお願いいたします。え、私は、え、現在コラロンプールで、え、日本の企業の、え、日本クライアントのプロジェクトのプロジェクトマネージャーをしております。え、早速ですけれども、え
ちょっと音,、えー、と音声の方がすみません、ちょっとうまくいってなかったみたいで、えー、聞き取れないところがありましたが、えー、あったみたいです、すみませんでした。えー、と次に、えーとですね、次に、えー、弊社が、えー、開始概要を説明する、えー、プレゼンテーションの方を、えー、させていただきたいと思います。少々お待ちください。音声と画面の方大丈夫でしょうか Yes, we can just speak. あ、Thank you, Kami さん。えそれでは、えー、弊社 IGT に関する、えー、会社概要と、あとは Work from Home について、えー、説明させていただきたいと思います。まずは会社概要について説明をさせていただきます。IGT は強固な財務基盤を持つアポログループの一員です。アポロ社はアメリカの投資管理会社でして、IGT はその傘下に入っております。このスライドは主にアポロ社の説明になりますので、今回の会議の内容からは外れますので、スキップさせていただきます。このスライドから、えー、弊社の説明となります。えー、IGT は、えー、インドに本社を置き、コ、えー、ラルンプール含む、えー、12カ国23拠点に、えー、約1万8000人以上のオペレーターと技術者が約30以上の言語で対応しております。また、コロナ禍以前からも、えー、デジタル対応では、SNS や BOT、アナリティクス、RPA を活用したプロセス管理など、25種類以上に急速に拡大展開中です。弊社の主要な顧客は旅行業界ですけれども、他にも e コマースやインターネット、さらにホテルなどの接客サービスの分野で、85社以上のお客様にサービスを提供しています。こちらがですね、各分野の長期にわたってサービスを提供しているクライアントの一部です。e コマースでは、えーまあ、ウォールマートや、えー、アゴダ、それからエクスペディアなど、えー、日本でもご存知の方は多いと思います。えー、航空業界では、世界のメジャーなエアラインとの取引実績がございます。また、テクノロジー、えー、この分野も、えー、旅,行旅,行旅行系の会社との、えー、関わりが強いです。そして、えー、旅行アンドレジャー,、えー、この分野では、えー、世界的なホテルチェーンが、えー、主要な顧客となっています。また、これらのお客様とも長年の実績が、まあ、ガートナー社のような調査会社とによって高く評価をされております。こちらでは、弊社の拠点がどこにあるかを示しています。このグルガオンというのが、えーとですね、インドのデリー郊外にある都市で、弊社の本社がございます。基本的に、まあ、アジア地区ではアジアのヨーロッパ地区ではヨーロッパの電話に対応することが多いですけれども、まあ、プロジェクトによっては一つの拠点で世界中のお客様を対応することも珍しくありません。こちらでは各国にある拠点でどの言語に対応しているかをご覧いただきます。このマレーシアでは英語、関東語、そして中国標準語のマンダリン、マレー語、そしてインドのタミル語、ここまでは基本的にマレーシア人のみで対応が可能です
、その後の日本語、韓国語、タイ語、インドネシア語、ベトナム語、あとはミャンマーのビルマ語は、えーまあ、ネイティブの外国人を雇うか、もしくはまたマレーシア人で、その言語に優秀な人材を採用しています。次に弊社のクアラルンプール試験についてご紹介させていただきます。先ほどのビデオにもありました通り、弊社はクアラルンプールの隣の町のシャーラムというところにある UOA ビジネスパークに拠点を設けております。この歩道橋でですね、電車と駅とつながっておりますので、非常に便利なところにアクセス、アクセスは非常に便利です。また施設内にフードコートやコンビニ、あと先ほど言ったとり、日本のラーメン屋さんなどもありますので、非常に便利になっております。弊社のオフィスはキャパシティが450席ありまして、この1、2ヶ月の間にまたワンフロア借りて150席以上増える予定です。現在、コラムプールでの従業員の数は約650人、そのうち日本語チームは約50名。トレーニング室は、トレーニング室は各フロアに一つずつ3部屋ございまして、オフィスは PCIDSS、COPC、ISO などに認証されております。こちらからは、アジア、オーストラリア、中東、ヨーロッパ、アメリカなどに向けてサービス,サービスに対応しており、IT 関係で言えば、高いセキュリティ機能を備えた情報保管に対応しております。こちらが、えー、と先ほども申し上げたとおり、えー、コアラムプールで対応している言語になります。えー、次に弊社が行っている、えー、コロナ禍における、まあ、ワークフォームホーム、在宅の、えー、実施について、えー、説明をさせていただきます。えー、まずここでは、えー、と主に HR、えー、弊社の人事部がコロナ禍以前まではオフィスにて行っていたものをオンライン化した、オンライン化した業務についてリストアップをいたしました。新入社員への会社説明、入社後に会社規則の説明、従業員に対する会社指針の説明、それから従業員へのアンケート調査、トレーニング、そして表彰式など、コロナ禍以前までは対面で行っていたものをほぼ全てこちらの通り、オンンライン化することになりました24時間、稼業しているカスタマーサービスですので、社員によって就労時間もバラバラで、例えば表彰式やデクレーションを人事部が企画しても、なかなか参加できない社員も多くいましたが、オンライン化することによって参加者も増えましたし、従業員同士、あとは他のプロジェクトとの社員とのコミュニケーションが増えたという側面も受けられます。こちらのスライドでは、えー、とウォークフロムホーム導入の流れということで、一つのプロジェクトで在宅勤務を導入する際の流れについて、簡単に説明させていただきます。えー、マレーシアでは2020年3月に、えー、ちょうど2年ぐらい前ですね、に、えー、政府によって、えー、移動制限を伴うロックダウンが、えー、発令されまして、えー、弊社でも当然ながら、えー、従業員の安全を第一優先に考えて、至急在宅勤務の対応を取りました。クライアントとの協議の上で、在宅勤務の導入とその開始日時が決まると、そこから逆算して、IT 関係の準備に入ります。在宅勤務の開始日が4日目とすると、その3日前ですね、このデイワンに IT チームによってハードウェアの点検、ソフトウェアの設定変更、アプリの接続確認など、PC の設定変更を行います。そして2日目は会社から PC の発送もしくは既存の社員の場合には会社に PC を受け取りに来てもらいます。3日目はエージェントによってパソコンを自宅のネットワークにつなぎ、社内ネットワークやクライアントのアプリへ無事に接続できているか確認してもらいます。またデータセキュリティガイダンスとして情報漏洩防止のために在宅勤務中にできやるべきこと、やってはいけないことを再度レクチャーいたします
、こちらの図が、えー、在宅勤務中にやるべきことをやってはいけないことを、えー、簡単に、えー、一枚のスライドにまとめたもので、えー、定期的に社員へメールやチャットで送って、えー、注意を促しています。また、事前に在宅勤務中の PC 使用については、社員に対して誓約書に署名をしてもらっています。そして4日目ですね、ネットワークやアプリがスムーズに動く状態で、在宅勤務初日を迎えることになります。同僚や上司の隣に座って、仕事をすることはできなくなりましたけれども、今、この現在使用している Zoom や、あとはマイクロソフトの Teams など、ウェブ会議ツールを用いて、チーム内で密なコミュニケーションが取れるように配慮をしております。また何かシステムトラブルが起こった際には、24時間対応可能なサポートディスクも待機しています。そして、仮に在宅勤務が終了した場合には、パソコンを社内ネットワークに接続する前に、ウイルスキャンを行って、安全であるとの確認が取れた上で、再度その PC を社内ネットワークに接続します。以上がワークフロムホーム、在宅勤務の一般的な流れとなります。IT チームによりますと、在宅勤務の導入は、技術的には特に大きな問題はなく、スムーズに導入できたとのことでした。しかし、プロジェクトによっては、100台以上の PC の設計変更を1台ごとに手作業で行わざるを得ないんですけれども。IT やセキュリティチームの人員がクラウンプールでは数名しかいないため、あのマンパワーの、マンパワー不足を感じたということでした。あと、オペレーターサイドでは自宅でネット接続の問題が発生するケースがありましたが、その場合はインターネットの速度テストを行って、10メガ BPS を下回るようであれば、契約しているプロバイダーに連絡が改善するように指示いたしました。実際私の今住んでいるクラウンプールの部屋も、インターネットのスピードを測ったところ180メガ BPS 以上ありましたので、多くのほとんどの社員は問題なく接続できたと思います。また、そのインターネットのスピードの事情や、また家庭の事情で在宅の勤務ができないと判断した場合には、オフィスに戻って働くというオプションも、人的には与えております。以上が、えー、と IGT からの会社概要の説明と、えー、ワークフロムホームの説明となりました。ご清聴いただきましてありがとうございます。Thank you, Mr. Kesuke, for working us、uh, on the presentation of IGT solutions.、Um, <coughs> There is one question、uh, in the Q&A.、Uh, maybe I would like to invite someone to read out. Maybe 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 もしあのな,なければですね、あの今いただいている、Q&A にいただいている質問は、後ほどのお時間であの質問させていただきたいと思いますので、一旦もしな,ないようでございましたら、一旦あパネリストの方、お電話、あ、挙手いただいておりますので、失礼いたしました。OK。BBiz 山田様ですね。すみません、ごめん、カメラオンでお願いいたします。はい、よろしいでしょうか。アジティソリューションの方が説明ありがとうございました。えー、とちょっとシステム系の確認、質問なんですけれども、えー、と日本だと大体2、3年前ぐらいから、まあ、オンプレ型からクラウド型にシフトしていったっていうのがあるんですけれども、海外だとなんか最近、クラウド型からまたオンプレミス型に戻ってるみたいな話も聞くんですけど、実態としてどうなのかなっていうのをちょっとお伺いしたかったのと、その背景も知りたいです。質問は以上です。I think, I think I have to read it. Hi, hi.、Uh, thank you so much for the question.、Uh, let me just rephrase、um, the question once again. So, if I understand correctly, the question is、um, in Japan or in overseas countries,
um, the the norm is uh, from cloud and now they are going back to on premise so are you referring to now the trend is changing that the 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 businesses are coming back to work from office concept is that your question えっと、いやあの在宅であったとしても、オフィスであったとしても、まあ、要はサーバー含めてこうどこに置いてるかっていうことで、やっぱりこうオンプレミスだとコストがめちゃくちゃかかるっていう代わりに、メンテナンスしやすかったりとか、あとはあのその企業に特化した、まあ、オリジナリティのある、えーまあ、メンテナンスができるという、まあ、デメリット、デメリットがあると思うんですけれども、まあ、それを踏まえて、海外だとクラウドに移っていったんだけれども、結局コスト高だったりとか、えー、管理がしづらいということで、オンプレミスにまた戻っているような動きがあるっていうのも聞いてるんですけれども、まあ、そのあたりの実態と背景を聞かせていただきたいです。Okay, thank you so much.、Um, I got the question. But, however, for IGT solution,、um, I don't think that、uh, we are looking at moving back on premise because right now,、uh, the trend that we have、um, to give a specific example, the telephony system that we have,、uh, we have been using Avaya, but now we have shifted to a cloud based、uh, telephony tool. So, in regards,、uh, in, in preference of having a continuous Work from home being implemented or being、uh, superseding as an option or as a preference that is coming both from the workforce and from the client as well.、Um, I think the current、uh, industry or the current standard that we have is trying to work out、uh, on more ways to ensure that the cloud based、um, uh, the cloud based delivery that we have. Uh, is up to the park, and there are no gaps、uh, in between. So I hope that answers the question. Thank you. Hi, I'm sure that's your good. Okay, Mr. Ariat was I must. In a sense, or ever a KDDI Evolver no Suzuki Samari Sumitari to Rimasa, the panelist no number summer mic camera only to go to my title. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. KDDI エボルバーナンバーサマー取れますでしょうか。失礼になります。KDDI エボルバーでございます。申し訳ございません。質問証書確認させていただきますのでお待ちいただけますでしょうか。チャットにはいあのあり,ありがとうございます。鈴木さんよりチャットであの質問いただいております。大変申し訳ございません。確認いたしますので、次のご質問に、えっと、飛んでいただきますでしょうか。はい、えっと、質問はあのこの一件のみになりますので、一度チャットから上がっているものを小野島が代読させていただきます、はいえ。マレーシアはセンターが密集しているかと思いますが、スタッフの退職率の低減など、雇用確保に関する取り組みはどのようなことをされておりますでしょうか。お願いいたします。Yes,、um, so the question is、uh, Are we doing anything to、uh, ensure that、uh, we keep our attrition rates low? Since there is a lot of competition with other BPOs surrounding us, and、um, they do have an option to change to a different concept or different、uh, environment at any given point of time, because almost all BPO organizations are practicing work from home. So, in regards with that, Um, yes, we definitely do.、Uh, we do have a lot of engagement activities with our、uh, employees, 
but I do believe for IGT solutions, the strength that we have is one in how strong we are in ensuring that all the agents are having a common goal and vision and how we are driving them towards that goal and ensuring that they keep on track with the engagement activities that we have with them. Um, to give an example, during the pandemic sessions, uh, we had uh, set up a number of processes completely work from home in different locations as, as well. And uh, we did that with the help, uh, with the strong presence and help of our partners. And we also ensured that we engage with the employees on a regular basis. We do quarterly r and activities for them. Uh, we do have regular coaching sessions with them. Uh, we do regular town hall sessions with them. And we also roll out voice of employees um, to understand what would they like to have, what kind of support that they are expecting from the management side, what kind of uh, environment that would uh, definitely help them to perform better from a work from home aspect. And all this is taken into consideration and we have developed certain strategies or certain policies that enabled us to contact or to connect with them and uh, to ensure that they do stay uh, connected with the company itself and they grow with the company. Because another aspect that we need to look at, um, I believe that this has been mentioned by other details as well, that we do need to ensure that the employees know uh, what their goal is and uh, the growth opportunity that they can have with us and um, any other aspect that they can actually uh, involve themselves with. For us, we have always been open with our employees. We value them based on the skills that they have. And in regards to that, we give them equal opportunity to try out different functions, different roles, give them more exposure on enhanced uh, learning and development uh, programs uh, that is developed through in-house. And we ensure that the quality team and training team in, is constantly looking at ways of getting more programs rolled out to them. Uh, and that ensured that they stay on track and with upcoming promotions that we had in the team, um, that drove as a motivating factor for them to stick with IGT because they know that they can definitely grow here. They know that they are being valued. They know that uh, being with IGT, they can definitely go far. I hope that answers the question. Thank you, Ganesan, uh, for uh, the question and answer representing IGT. In the, in the interest of time, uh, I would like to move on to the next uh, session. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I will just need another 10 minutes uh, of your time. I know that uh, it's already 15 minutes past our original planned time. So let's just allocate another 10 minutes for the next session. Uh, to have a Q&A with the frontline agents. There is also some uh, Q&A for the management team that will be answered via an email uh, uh, soon, yeah? Okay, so uh, without further ado, I would like to call up a representative from the frontline uh, contact center team to take up a few questions. I would like to invite Naoki Kita and Ismail Ibrahim from TDCX. Tatsuhiko, Tatsuhiko Yatsutake and Mitsa, Mits, Misako Kondo from WebHelp and Komachi Shodai from uh, IGT Solutions. All right. Uh, please switch on your camera, yeah? Um, sorry, Adi, I think uh, Komachi is not available. She has to drop off for some uh, urgent uh, operation uh, engagement, but I'll be taking a couple later. I hope that's okay. all right. Okay, no problem, Ganesh. Okay, so uh, to, to, to kick off this uh, session, uh, the Q&A from uh, uh, Frontline team, I I received an upfront question question questions from uh, CCAJ, so let's use that as the uh, kickstart. I will throw a question to uh, TDCX first uh, to Naoki Kito or Ismail Ibrahim. Uh, what are the challenges that you face when your organization announced that you would need to start to work from home, and how do you overcome it? 
ありがとうございます。TDCX 日本チーム担当させていただいております、木藤と申します。よろしくお願いいたします。えー、質問の内容に関しまして、私の方から3点ほど共有をさせていただければと存じます。主に、えー、初めの点としまして、えー、ワークフロムホーム、当初始まった際に、えー、実際に弊社、およそほぼすべてデスクトップ、を使用しているかと思われまして、そちらの移行に多少手間がかかったという形となっております。その際に、えー、必要に応じて、えー、こちらのデスクトップを、えー、自分の車で持ち帰り、または、えー、グラブ等を使用し、またタクシーを使用し、えー、持ち帰らせていただいたという形となっております。その際に、えー、多少、えー、その日のうちにセットアップ等必要だったので、えー、そちらに多少やはり手間がかかったという形となっております。次に、えー、私個人としては,しては、えー、仕事の効率性が多少、えー、当初落ちたのではないかと判断しておりまして、主な、えー、理由としまして、やはり自宅勤務でございますので、さまざまな理由がございまして、えー、それらと対処するために、一人一人、えー、会話をし、えー、対話ですね、行い、えー、ユニークな、えー、いろいろな問題がございましたので、当初は、えーそれぞれに合わせて対処をさせていただいたという形となって、形となっております。失礼いたしました。で最後に、主に現在でも多少影響が出ているかもしれませんが、トレーニングに関しまして、やはり、あの、実際にクラス、面と面で向かってやっているクラスとは異なりまして、オンライン教室のような形となっておりますので、スタッフそれぞれ、特に新人の方の、当初、最初の理解度、そして品質を保つためのトレーニング、これらがオンライン教室では判断が少々難しく、今現在では主にこちら、定期テスト、定期試験、または別途、品質を確認をさせていただきながら、定期的にこちら、必要に応じてトレーニングを追加でさせていただくというふうに対象させていただいております。以上が私から3点となりますが。Yes。Thank you, Naoki。All right, so moving on, I would like to throw a question to a representative from WebHelp。Ada Tatsuhiko Yasutake o Misako Kondo。Yeah, the questions will be as a contact center environment, do you personally think that a contact center agent role can 100% be working from home? If yes or no, can you explain why? Yes. でもあり、えっ、ー、と、まあ、あと、まだ、かっても、課題はあるかなと。えっ、ー、と、もちろん、先ほど、あの、あの、イリクさんの方でもおっしゃられた通り、えっ、ー、と、どれ、あの、エージェントとスタッフに対して、どれだけ、その、コミュニケーションを取れるかだとか、えー、まあ、これから、その、セキュリティの部分ですよね。お客様のクライアントの、やはり、情報っていうの、機密っていうのは、やはりあるので、それをどこまで、その、高めていかないといけないのかっていう部分で、あの可能でもあるし、これからその改善、もっとあの改善できるようになるんではないかと僕は思っています。えー、これは質問に答えられたでしょうかね。大丈夫ですか、皆さん。いや、私の方から少し答えいたしましょうか。安坂さん、私の声は聞こえてますかあ大丈夫です。聞こえてます。<笑>はい、では、続けさせていただきます。そうですね、あの今、安武の方からあの、いろいろ観点から見て、できる部分もあるし、あともう少しまだ改善の余地もあるということで、私どもの解釈としては、まあ、ハイブリッドモデルが一番いいんではないかと考えているんですけれども、まあ、当然、これはあのクライアント様の状況にもよると思うんですけれども、私どもの、まあ、えっ、ー、と、クライアントで言いますと、まあ、ツールが確実にまあ自宅から、えー、働けるツールがあること、それからセキュリティにおいて、こちらも完璧に
あのされていることなどを考えると、まあ、エージェントもですねコミュニケーションも,もうチャットで十分取れるようになっておりまして非常にまあチームの雰囲気がよく働ける環境にはなっています。あと、その他まあ個人的なことを言いますと、ワークライフバランスがまあ在宅勤務だと取りやすい。例えば、あのまあクワラルンプールで言いますと、非常にあの交通渋滞が激しいものですから、例えば、通勤に非常な時間がかかると。私も夕方なんかですと、2時間ぐらいかかることもあるんですけれども、そういったところが在宅勤務だとなくなるので、まあ、みんな自由な時間が増える。ということで、あの個人的なあの、まあ、メリットがあるっていうことで、まあ、私どものチームでは、あの、大多数が、この、ワークフルムホームっていうのを好意的に、あの、行っておりまして、実際に、ま、パフォーマンスも、あの、ワークフォーマンスになってからは上がっております。はい。私の方からは以上です。ありがとうございます。そうですね。あの、本当に欠勤率っていうのは、やはり以前と比べて、すごい、あの、良くなってるっていうのも事実なので、まあ、そこも考えて、ワークフルムホーム、要はハイブリッドというシステムというのが一番あの有効なのかなと思います。ウェブヘッから以上ですかね。ありがとうございました。Thank you. Thank you for your sharing. I think that's a good、uh, input there, then everyone can benefit from it. Right? And、uh, I just have one more last question. This is for.、Uh, Kanisen, I think from uh, IGT. Uh, the question will be Can you share a few tips for a contact center agent to maintain their performance and keeping engaged with their team members,、uh, adapting to the sudden changes to the operation requirement while working from home? Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. Yes,、um, regarding、um, an agent to maintain their performance, yes, one thing that we have noticed is Uh, the change to、uh, work from home h a v e happened、uh, on a sudden phase、um, without any,、um, any pre preparation, I would say, in terms of、uh, either from a mental aspect or maybe from a physical or infrastructure aspect as well. So, some few tips that we share、uh, with our agents is for them to have a dedicated workspace and to create or re try to recreate an environment that matches. Um, how their desk would be、uh, at office.、Um, try to personalize their workspace, try to personalize their desk、uh, with the same kind of feel and environment that they have、uh, while they're working from office. And also to ensure that there's no、um, disturbance or there's no any interruptions that is coming from their family members. Because one challenge that we know is、um, most of them may not have a secluded place、uh, to work with. And they have to adjust with their other family members to ensure that there's no distraction during、uh, their working hours. Now, to engage with their team members,、um, the biggest challenge is when we move to a virtual concept.、Um, not everyone is fond of like picking up the phone and c a l l someone, and even if they do,、uh, maybe they have to wait online, especially when they're engaging with their、uh, team leaders,、uh, with their SMEs. Um, they may not be able to reach them, and that, that gets kind of frustrating because they, get, they feel like they're not getting the help that they need、um, on time or immediately. So, one thing that we practice and one thing that we encourage them is to be on an open line in any platform like Teams or WebEx, where we ensure that there are sufficient number of SMEs、uh, on it. And these agents are encouraged to. Reach out to the SMEs and leads at any given point of time.、Um, they can just barge in, they, they can just、uh, call out their names, they can just communicate, share their screen.、Uh, they can do, in fact, they can do whatever that they, they can, they have been doing on a normal physical presence that has been shifted to a totally virtual room.、Um, in terms of engagement, we encourage the agents to come up with their own ideas, own creativities. We let them to lead some engagement sessions by themselves. For example, let's say, for example, we have a Friday engagement event. We will select one agent to come up with the concept and to be the host and drive that engagement 
for that particular day. So in that sense, uh, we make them feel that they are being part of the team and we make them feel that they are being engaged with, uh, with the agents and to participate. And that, that's the practices that we had in IGD. All right, thank you, Ganesan, for sharing on that particular topic. Yeah. All right, so we are approaching to the end of the session. I would just uh, like to extend another one more questions to the participants or to the uh, uh, panelists. So I, I see there is there is still people uh, uh, raising up their hands. Uh, I would like to invite Kenichi Akito from CTC First Contact. Hi. え、ありがとうございます。シファーさんたちのアクトと申します。えっと、ウェブヘルプさんの え、Okay, uh, adding on uh, to the same topic, uh, because in regards with uh, mental well-being, um, of course, it's quite difficult for us to えっとですね、ご質問の内容としてはどちらかというとそのリテンションであったりとかメンタルヘルスというところではなくですね、仕事にあたる姿勢であったりとかそういうですね、数字に現れないところの評価というのを在宅ワーカーに対してどういうふう
via an email uh, through JTB so that we can uh, compile and uh, send the answers back via an email. Yeah, we are already approaching to the end mark of our session. So I hope everyone have learned or take away at least one new thing today. I would also like to say thank you to all the panelists which has contributed uh, your time and effort to ensure this event runs smoothly. I would like to also extend my thank you to JTB and CCAJ for your collaboration. And thank you to everyone who joined this session today. Thank you during this pandemic hard time. Take care and uh, speak to you once again. Thank you very much and have a nice day.